Oh, found that well, didn't I? Here's a practice, love. I'll cook the breakfast tomorrow, babe. How's that? Leave it when I say it. Fair enough. Where's Aunt Claire? Same place as all day, man. Still asleep? Yeah. Still. She has got a bit of time on her own. Yeah. Bob. Hmm? I've been uh, thinking about what Father Gibbons said yesterday. I think he might be onto something. He, uh, he said I needed time to think. Bob. Hmm? He thought it might be a good idea if I had a bit of a holiday at Easter. Yeah, you could on him. Maybe go to Rome. You've seen this picture of the Siddle Smith, have you? I think I'll have to cut down on the old bacon and eggs and see if I can lose a bit of weight. What do you think? It's tempting, isn't it, though? What is? You know, uh, going south, the job and all that. The job might be tempting, but you being in the south isn't. Leave the dishes, I'll do them. I'm doing them. Keeps me off the streets. I'll do the beds and give us a shout when the kettle's boiled. No, you don't. What? Look, if I do go down, it'll only be for three months. I don't want you to go, Billy. Well, I don't want to go either, but it's money, and I've got to go where the money is, haven't I? But the phone's just come. Yeah, never. don't say yes soon. He's going to offer the job to someone else. And then where will we be, eh? On our knees at the bank, that's where. Let's face it, there's nothing else down for me here, is there? Give it a chance. The phone's only just come back on. You just watch. It'll never stop ringing. It's keeping itself to itself by the sound of things, isn't it? Give it time. When's Grace's birthday? 6th of April. Your mum's? 19th of October. Your dad's? June the 11th. Mine? August the uh, 8th. The 2nd of August. Yours? 6th of What's this all about? Is it 20 questions? Do I get a prize or something? I've started to prove a point. Oh, and what point's that, Ali? Well, my point is, how long is it since we were in Turkey? Er, uh, eight months. Exactly. Now, you remember all those important dates, and I remember them as well. And I know for a fact, Madge told me her birthday was on the 30th of July. Doesn't that tell you something? Oh, yeah, it tells me a lot of things about you. Madge knows the date of her own birthday, all right. Aye, but do we? There is no we. I know when it is. That's why I bought her a present last week. You've been had, Ralph. But there's still time to do something about it. Look, Harry, if we're not careful, we're going to fall out over this. Hey! Do you know, Bob, it's really difficult trying to get through to you sometimes. My little angel, as long as you still love me, that's all that matters. Oh, I'm being serious. Oh, so am I. Look, I really would like to go away at Easter. I know the priest mentioned it first, but I think it's a great idea. She, just go and get the brochures and we'll go through them all tonight. We don't need brochures. Oh, yes, we do. We don't want to go anywhere crowded. We want somewhere nice and quiet where we can sit and relax and you can think about anything you want. Bob, you're not listening to me. I am, baby. What a nice little Easter holiday. Fine, so do I. Where's my coat? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I've told you three times now, love. If that's all it is, it'll cost you about a tenner, all right? Yeah. I'll be down there the savvy. Yeah. Two o'clock on the dock, don't worry. Okay, turn on now. I told you. Connecting a cooker. It's not worth the bother or the petrol money. And I make a fiver profit, big deal, eh? Come on, that's not the point. Get three or four of these a day and we'll be laughing. I'll be changing our lady's light bulbs next. Well, at least it's work. And the sooner you get going, the better. Oh, we've got to go to our Jimmy's first. What for? Well, I need a couple of new tyres. Well, you know, retreads, like. You be careful when you're round at Jimmy's. It's only a couple of tyres, though. Yeah, well, make sure that's all it is. <sighs> right. Cooker will take me about half an hour at the most, then I'll put some postcards in the shop windows. I'll be back about half three, four o'clock, all right, would you? Do you fancy lamb chops, VT? No, I fancy you. I don't taste as good with gravy. Hello, oh, Billy, lad. How's it going? Oh, fine, thanks. How are you? All right? Not bad, lad. Can't grumble. Sheila, all right, then? As if it couldn't be better. Great stuff. How's the, how's the job going? I'm just on my way to a job now. It's really pecking up, like. Smashing got all boxed off, eh? Yeah. Nice one. See ya. See you then, sir. Look, 
Gary, once and for all, Maggie's birthday is January the 6th, not July the 30th. All right. All right, all right. I get the message. Good. What are you doing? Ah, uh, what does it look like I'm doing? Where are you going? I'm interested, that's all. I'll meet in Maggie in town, if you must know. Oh, I. When? Half four. Oh, you cut it a bit fine, aren't you? It's nearly a quarter past eleven. Oh, funny, funny. Yeah. What are you going to be doing in town, then? Well, Mads wants to do a bit of shopping, and then... Yeah, go on. Well, we might go to pictures or something. Oh, dirty films, is it, now? Why, do you want to come? So you'll be paying, will you? Well, it is the custom, isn't it? I mean, I am the man. Yeah, but she wears the kegs. All right, all right, I'll give in. When you're in town, buy Mads a little birthday present from me. And I'll give you the money when you come back. It's a bit late for her birthday, isn't it? No, it's not. You'll probably have another one next week. Why can't we get Bob interested? Oh, maybe the idea just hasn't sunk in yet. You think it's a good idea, though, don't you? Yeah. Honest. I only wish it was going with you. Yeah. Rob's got some happy memories for me. I didn't know you'd been. European Cup final, yeah. 1977. We beat Borussia Mönchengladbach 3-1. <laughs> I want to go and see the Pope, not a football match. Hey, we wanted to see the Pope as well. We were a ticket short and we thought he might have a spare. Hey, that's blasphemy. The fellow who had no ticket was a Protestant. <laughs> now, I think it'll do you both the world of good. I mean, Easter's there. Well, it's a good time to be in Rome, isn't it? Why can't I get Bob to feel like that? It's expensive there, you know, but... Oops. Do you know, the more I think about it, the more I really <laughs> want to go. I think it's the only way I'm going to get this... rape business cleaned out of my system. Mm. That's why I want to go. Anyway, about this babysitting business with Madam here. I can't let you do it for nothing, you know. Oh, behave. I enjoy it. And anyway, I still owe you 300 quid from the funeral. Oh, no. Hey, I tell you what, if you want to pay me anything, why don't you deduct it from what I owe you? Well, if that's okay with you. Anyhow, you're the one planning a trip to Rome. Hello. You're the one who should be thinking about saving some money. Shouldn't she, girl? Yeah, I should be. Should I? Hello, a heck, lad. Come on in. Uh, what can I do for you? <laughs> Sit yourself down, lad. Oh, tell. Have a look at that. Don't get too close. Blue asbestos. Iron is from your place. And what's going to be apart from the fact that it's blue asbestos is... It was brought to me by one of the lads off the shop floor. Because the shop steward wouldn't. Hang on. Before you say anything, I've dead up on that stuff. And it's a killer. It takes no prisoners. And if our lads are coming into contact with it, we've got to stop it. Hang on a minute. The fellow that brought this stuff to you... It wasn't Martin Cox by any chance, was it? No, well, if it was. <laughs> Oh, come on, if he hadn't brought it to me, I wouldn't know about it now, would I? Hear me out. I'm summoned here as if... as if, well, I've got to prove myself innocent. No one's saying that. First off, by bringing the stuff direct to you, he's gone behind my back. Second, none of it's true. You're not trying to tell me it's not blue asbestos. Of course I'm not, but that tin doesn't contain the whole story. Meaning? Martin Cox, known to the rest of the workforce as Militant Martin. And he's got a lousy singing voice. Uh, anyway, you've worked before. I know, but not with a two-year-old. Look, you've got a reliable babysitter now. And you're not going for chairman of ICI, are you? Only <laughs> something part-time. That's all there is. Yeah, and that doesn't pay much either. You know, I was thinking of getting a part-time job on a pub shake. But by the time they deduct your benefit, you've earned nothing. Do you have to declare it? Oh, I couldn't risk getting caught again, could I? My pot was gone on that score. Well, only you, me and Bob know about the babysitting, so you should be all right. Tell you something. This course of yours could start a whole new career for me as a nanny. <laughs> He's also been warned three times in the last six months for bad timekeeping. Yeah, but so long as he keeps pulling his finger out on the shop floor, eh? Look, most of the lads try to avoid his line because he knackers the bonuses. Oh, not on his own, he can't. Mm. Don't you believe it? And another thing Martin stood against me for election. That's convenient. He wasn't too happy about the result. Frankly, I was surprised he even got six votes. But now, every time he gets the yellow card, he kicks up, so uh, when they do get round to sacking him, he can scream victimisation. 
So, where did he get the asbestos from? Just a minute. He's pushed his luck and he knows it. He's on the verge of being kicked out. That's why he's come to you. He wants to get the boot in first. Supposing you're right, it still doesn't explain where he got that from. No. There is asbestos in the factory, but only in minute amounts. Management knows all about it. They've told us there's nothing to worry about. Anyway, come summer, the old factory's getting the once over. There won't be a single particle of asbestos left by the end of August. Why by the end of August? Why not now? Well, the factory shuts down for the annual fortnight last two weeks in August. Yeah, but if it wants cleaning out, why can't he do it now? It doesn't need cleaning out. It's, it's just a voluntary action on the part of the management. They've checked the air and it's well within the limits. They're not obliged to do anything. It's just, well, we're, we've got a pretty good worker management relationship. We get a new canteen, Japanese touch. Everybody's sitting together, eating in the same place, like. Besides long cancer, Harry, do you know what else you can get from asbestos? Asbestosis? Mesothelioma. Never heard of it. But, but we are well looked after at Billinger's. Deaths from lung cancer do not differ significantly from the national average. I wouldn't like to think there'll be any comebacks on your mountain because he came to see me. No, there won't be. Well, OK, Eric, that's it. Thanks for dropping in. Oh, any time. All the best. Cheers. So, Eric? Yeah? The tin. <laughs> oh, sorry. Tirano. Tirano. Well, you don't pay me until after I've done the job. No, no, that's what we agreed. But you might not be satisfied with me standard of work, might you? Well, you won't leave as much mess as you did last time, will you? I haven't been here before. Oh, you always leave a terrible mess, you fellas. <laughs> now, come on. Plumbers and all them, they always leave a mess. Well, don't worry, love, I'm not like them. Well, you're going to clean up before you go, aren't you? Because my back's This gone, place will be can't... so clean, when I go, you won't even know I've been here, love. <laughs> You're a good one. Yeah, and a poor one at this rate. Come out, <laughs> let's get on with it. Right there. Oh, that's um, nice. How much did that run you? Yeah, I couldn't afford that. That was a present of my son and daughter-in-law. Very nice. Yes. Hey, they must think a lot of you. Oh, yeah. And the kitchen's through that's, there, is it, love? That's right here. Do you want me to dump the owl on, do you? Well... Hey, oh, it's yeah. gas. She's a gas bucket. I can't touch it. You'll have to get the gas board in. No, you're all right. It's been disconnected, see? Uh, yeah, but it's a big job, love. You haven't even got a cocker point. I'll have to lay a cable and everything to the main. But I'll have to get it done today. Otherwise, how am I going to cook my tea? Where's your fuse box? <laughs> That's all right, love. I'll have to put a cable down. You're going to leave a mess, aren't you? I knew it. Sorry, I'm late. Is she asleep? I'll go and put the kettle on. How's she been? She can babysit me any time. How was it with you? Oh, it was great. Good course. Mind you, it'd be a lot of hard work. Oh, you'll do it. You know you will. Have you thought any more about that part-time job? Oh, no, not really. It'd have to be something local. Well, besides bar work, there's not much choice, is there? He said himself that didn't pay. What's Bobby going to say about you breaking a couple of nights a week in a bar? Hmm. Let me ask you this, then. What happened when Grace died? What did me and Edna do? What was the first thought in our head? Poor Ralph. That's what we thought. We said, we'll invite him over for a couple of days, and we'll look after him. And the days turned into weeks. And the weeks turned into months. Because we made you feel at home. And after all the months, here we are. Why? Because we're mates. Are well, you saying we're no longer mates? Mates talk to one another. And they listen. Even when they don't like what's being said. But since you've been knocking around with that match, we never talk. And you won't listen. 
mates. Good mates talk to each other. Good mates tell the truth to one another. What they believe to be the truth. You don't think I like saying all this to you, do you? Telling my best mate that his girlfriend's lying about her birthday. I'd sooner tell you you've got B.O. Oh, thanks, Harry. I'm just warning you. Don't jump into anything, that's all I'm saying. Look. With Match, this could be a whole new start for me. Something I'd, I'd no right to hope for, let alone expect. And I don't find this easy to say either, but you're going to have to accept it. But what are yourself about me? I managed before you came here. And I'll manage when you've gone. That's not what I'm saying, Harry. Yeah. But Edna was here then. I wasn't on my own. Well, answers is probably your fancy woman. Hello? Oh, hello, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Hello, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Shouldn't you be seeing your bit of stuff? Yes, Kev. No, things couldn't be better. Ralph's just gone out. Yeah. Harry, I haven't got B.O., have I? And your son's been on the dole for nearly three years now. He still does everything he can for me, though. I only expect it to be half an hour, you know. If that... Will your wife be worried about your son? Well, no, it's not that. It's the job is taking a lot longer than I charged you for. That's not to mention the cost of the cable, like... Well, that's why I've made you a little something. Oh, uh, I wasn't expecting that, thanks, love. Yeah, well, you do a good turn for someone and they'll do the same for you. Yeah, but... Uh... Yeah, well, that's all right then, yeah. No, I've got no worries about that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I'll talk it over with the wife and then I'll be in touch with you tomorrow. Yeah, that's okay, fine, yeah. Okay, ta da now. I'll uh, pay you for the call, Mrs. Fraser. No, you're all right if it's only local. Well, uh, it wasn't like. Oh. Here you go. Ciao. Pity you couldn't wait while six. Well, to get in touch with him during working hours, you know. Well, it's much cheaper after six, you know. Here we are, then. Ah. In there. <laughs> You've stitched me up good and proper, you have, you know. Who has? That was a 70 quid job, that. Huh? I haven't got 70 quid. There's that as well. But we've got no need to worry about it. I won't be doing any more jobs like that for a while, I can tell you, love. Oh. Anyway, I'll be going, then. Eh... Uh, what about this mess here? You're a smasher. I'm a mug. <laughs> a mug. <laughs> Hiya, kid. Hiya. You're not still on about this, are you, she? How long's our parish police been a travel agent? That's not funny. No, neither the copy going to the police either. It's only four days. Gee, God knows with what you've been through, girl, you deserve a holiday. But why can't we go to Spain or somewhere cheaper? We've been to Spain. Yes, and we had a damn good time as well. Yet I can tell the leaves sunny all the year round. Look, Bob, as far as I'm concerned, this isn't a holiday. It's a spiritual thing. I want to get the Pope's blessing. Now, it's something that's important to me. It's something I want to do. Well, it's not something that's important to me, and it's not something that I want to do. And what about the cost of it? 
We'll sort something out. Oh, Shay, I'm not a magician. And anyway, I don't want to go to Rome. All right, I'll go on my own. Right then. All right, I will. Don't expect me to pay. I won't. Where are you going to get the money from? I'll find a way. If I do get this money together, don't you go getting a cob on when I'm walking out the door. Fair enough. Oh, come on, Sheila. Look, I don't want to worry you. No, neither do I. Well, let's talk about something else. All right. How's work? Oh, that I'm not so sure. We've got an asbestos scare in a chemical factory and their management say deaths from lung cancer don't differ significantly from, from the national average. All right. Who told you that? The works convenient. And who told him? But that's how you build up small businesses, a little job here, a little job there. And what do we live on in the meantime, eh? Scotch mist. Give it a chance, will you? I haven't got time to give it a chance, though. The bank won't let me. I spent nearly four hours earning five quid. And I almost did me back in moving their kitchen from corner to corner. If the cable hadn't been knock-off from our Jimmy. Ties you said you were going for. If the cable hadn't been from our Jimmy, I wouldn't have done the Al girl a favour. And I'm running the risk of getting done by the social for the privilege. And what for, eh? You'll get your reward in heaven. Oh, great. Any chance of a down payment while I'm still here? Once you get stuck into these lamb chops, you feel a lot better. No, it won't. They're lovely and tender. Look, I know there's not enough money coming in through these doors to be able to afford lamb chops. They just won't taste any good until I can see daylight at the bank. Rod's going away soon. That'll be one less mouth to feed. There's only one way out of this. Look, it's no use kidding ourselves any longer. I don't want you going away, Billy. I've said it enough times. Well, I don't want to go. But if it's a choice between staying here and going under or working away and keeping afloat, then... Anyway, yeah. I phoned Jackie Marsh about the job in Tunbridge Wells. Look, love, it'll only be for three months. The pay's great. I, I found me cheap digs and all. Look, he'll get us in the clear. Just this once working away. Just the once, all right. Your tea's on the table. <laughs> 